everyone, I'm Alana. I'm here with Marty. Hey, Alana. We're at E3 2016, and we've seen tons of cool stuff, and especially a whole lot of cool VR this year. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to see Psychonauts in VR today. Yeah, which is super exciting because uh, Psychonauts is one of my favorite platformers of all time. I love everything Double Fine does, and so I got to see a little preview of Psychonauts in the Rhombus of Ruin. How which, does it work? <laughs> which is very confusing. So it's this PSVR, it's sort of Psychonauts 1.5, bridging the gap between the crowdfunded Psychonauts 2, and it's PSVR exclusive. Uh, it is a first person game, you're not moving around, so, huh. so sort of throw away how you control original Psychonauts, and uh, you're sitting in a cockpit, this is post Psychonauts 1, you're officially a Psychonaut, mm -hmm. and you're there with Lily, you're there with, with you know, all the rest of the Psychonauts, and you're in a cockpit of a plane, and what you're doing is, you're looking through Raz's eyes, and you're looking around, and you're able to, uh, use any of your psychic abilities all throughout the plane. So you're able to project yourself into other people's point of views, which is how you sort of navigate the world. So Are I'm sitting- you possessing people? You're not possessing people. No, it's clairvoyance. That was one of the okay. abilities in the original okay. one. You're not controlling their it's mind. You're just looking through their eyes. Mm -hmm. And so you're popping, you can pop into Lily, who's in the seat next to you. You can go into to, you know, Shasta, who's flying the plane. And so that's how you sort of navigate the environment. And it's this interesting mist sort of adventure game puzzle thing where you have to figure out like, Okay, there's a like rumbling in the overhead uh, bin, and what do you do to get that? You have to look at it, and then you have to look through your abilities, and like, I can use telekinesis, and I can shoot it at the lock, and the lock will break, and then the thing will come down, but it's far enough away, and so, you know, you can use levitation to bring it up, and then using the move controller, you bring it up towards you. Oh, cool. Uh, and so you're sort of, it's, it's this play space that you're able to use all the powers that you learned in Psychonauts 10, 15 years ago, but use them in VR in a way that makes sense. You're able to, like you have, you're, uh, you have the ability of pyromancy where you're able to set things on fire mm -hmm. and you can sort of set a couch cushion on fire and then all of a sudden someone will have to put it out and be like, Raz, why did you do that? So what's your objective or your narrative direction for this? <laughs> uh, so what I played was just a small scene. There is, this is a much larger thing where there are actual like puzzle so rooms game. you have it's to not solve. Just like an experience. Yes, this is absolutely okay. going to be a full game That's with cool. real puzzles that will stump you. Uh, this scene was pretty much, uh, one of the things I loved about it most is that it was, you know, it's still written by Tim and it still uh, has all the original voice cast, but it's what you're doing is sort of prodding around an environment and, and uh, seeing like, well, what happens if I do this? And it's, uh, I think the thing that works best in VR is when it, uh, kind of expects that you're going to experiment and expects yeah. you're like, I'm going to want to do this thing to this thing, and then it gives you a really satisfying reaction yeah. to it. And so it was like solving basic adventure game puzzles in order to finish the scene, but it was also like, what if there's a dude who's in the bathroom and he's asking for toilet paper? What if I set the toilet paper on fire before I give it to him? How is he going to react? And he totally reacts like a dude who would react if you gave him fire toilet paper. Yeah, you paper. probably shouldn't do that. It's really mean. Well, try it out at home. Well, you can now with Sacramento's VL, ladies and gentlemen. For more on VR, stay right here on IGN.